So ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome back to this analysis and I want to thank you for watching our videos. So Kalonzo Musoka has invited Kenya Kwanza's team that is supposed to be seen on the dialogue table to meet Azimio on Monday. In fact, this is now one of the instincts of what they call the bullfighter. And the bullfighter is Kalonzo Musoka. So in other words, Kalonzo is trying to ensure that what Azimio said in the first place that time is very much of essence to them is stuck by and they have started on a serious note. Now when you look at everything that Kalonzo mentioned in the invitation, I noted one mistake which of course probably they will highlight as time goes. Kalonzo stated that they are going to respect what Kenya Kwanza issued as their discussion point. <laughs> and everything that Kenya Kwanza raised have been a bone of contention. In fact, they, they, they did not raise anything to do with the concerns that people have been trying to put on the table for, for the government to consider. But I understand because being that it was just an invitation, you know, there was no way Kalonzo would come up with a tone which was very aggressive <laughs> from day one. In fact, they have not met. So what is appearing is that Kalonzo has started to lure them into the talk by not first of all being very aggressive and not being very forceful on what they want in the talks. So that is one point that actually has come out from Azimio's team and it has actually given Kalonzo Musioka a credit point <coughs> of a man who can handle things when they are at their stalemate. It has also given Kalonzo Musioka a nod as a man who is ready for this a course of action. So another thing which he was talking about is the general time essence. And you remember when Azimio was re releasing their acceptance to actually go into the talks with Kenya Kwanza, they said everything must run in 30 days. Like in this month of August, they gave a starting point and the ending point. So they said from August 1st to 31st August, they want to see everything sorted out. So Kalonzo Musoka, when he was coming to reiterate on that point, you know, he was saying that it is Kenyans that are giving out the time essence to be considered in this dialogue. So it has also shown something that Azimio has always been at the very forefront in trying to get a solution to this impasse. So it is upon the government to act swiftly. If they don't turn up, for Monday's invitation so that they get the preamble and they get uh, the flow of how they are supposed to do the things, then the blame will be on them. So Azimio has relieved itself from any blame that will come in as far as starting the dialogue is concerned. You know, harmonizing issues are concerned, you know, kind of ha arranging the members from both sides together to ensure that they have uh, you know, a seamless dialogue as fast as possible. If you look at what happened in that first phase, the Kenya Kwanza government is the one that said Azimio was not ready to come and talk with them, to come and have dialogue with them, you know. And another thing, you know, when Kalonzo Musoka was mentioning Obasanjo, <laughs> that Obasanjo is going to facilitate the talks, you know, it signified that um, the weight that this talk is going to carry is so immense that there's a high probability that we might get something at the end of the day. So we might see the light at the end of the day. So if Obasanjo is supposed to be included on strict measures, then there is no way Kenya Kwanza can revert to any other delaying tactics. So this is one of the reasons why an external party was very, very crucial for the talks to continue and for us to see the benefits of these talks and the process in its entirety. They always say the process is as good as what is coming as the output. You know, the product is as good as the process. So Kenya Kwanza has no option but to abide by the invitation. Monday they meet and they complete the pre-arrangement, the preamble and everything that they need to have in store for the dialogue to take shape. These leaders are going to handle these talks in good faith because I had Kalonzo Musoka saying that for them as a meal, they are approaching this dialogue in good faith. So 
the trust is always based on how somebody can mess up or jeopardize the good faith and the intentions that were established in the first place. So Azimio is running as fast as possible to confirm to everybody that we have come in good faith. We have brought everything on board in good faith. Said so that if any impediment comes that will stall everything and we do not get to that promised land, then definitely it will not be from our side. Because even the tone that Kalonzo Busoka is using to send the invitation to just explain everything is denoting that everything that they are doing, they are doing them in good faith. So, as we can see right now, as we can gauge based on how things are happening, Kalonzo Musoka is the best man <laughs> suited for this deal. And if he goes and brings a win, I noted it in the, the other video I gave you guys, if he can bring a win for Azimio, then this is going to be a landmark for Kalonzo Musioka to be a man that can be relied upon. Even though political interest is going to take the center stage, if Kalonzo wants to be the darling of the people and for him not to be pinned when it comes to 2027, he must make sure that the interest of the people is taken into consideration. He must make sure that whatever people are saying behind the scenes are considered in every step of the way so that the moment they will be giving reports the moment they will be coming to give updates to kenyans we will be in need of seeing what is it that the people are seeing that will benefit them in the process and i see kalonzo msoka kind of well positioned well placed to take up this matter and it is just a matter of time for us to see this and like they always say let us give time, time, and when we give time, time, we will definitely know what comes at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, I think God has been gracious to us as a nation. God has come through for us, and may he ensure that we see the light at the end of the tunnel, so that we don't return to chaos, we don't return to the brutality that, that we saw and we develop forward as a country. If you don't want your country to develop, you're not a patriot. Patriotism calls for you to ensure that your country sustains itself and becomes a very habitable nation and you get to live the life that God has established for you. I will see you in the next analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great time.